how would you define a woman? Because you've asked other uh, people up here to define how we would define a woman. How would you define a woman, Mr. Walsh? Uh, an adult human female. And how don't trans people, how doesn't a transgender woman fit that definition? Female. Because they're not, they're not female. They, they, they have, they have, you said that you are a biological male, correct? I said I'm transgender. Um, I might be intersex for all we know. About uh, almost as many people in the world are transgender as intersex. And well, a lot of people don't know. Well, but that's a different conversation. Intersex, that's a genetic anomaly, that's a medical condition. So let, that's a completely different conversation. That's also not a, that's not a third gender. That's just a, that's a genetic anomaly that occurs within the sex binary of male and female. Um, a, so you, what you're saying is that a quote unquote trans woman is a female? By the definitions I'm familiar with, yes. So how would you define female? Through my training in healthcare, there are several different categories for how we define sex. People bring up pr chromosomes. People also bring up hormone levels. People bring up all sorts of other categories. Lots of people don't fit neatly into a gender binary, even people we don't consider to be intersex. It's a complicated spectrum. It, it's not complicated, but you also didn't, you also didn't define. To, so what is... What is a woman? What is a female? What do, what do these words mean? It's complicated, and I know you're not going to like that answer, but that's because there are no simple answers in human biology. Let me ask you a question. You guys, well, you one hang question. on. I, just let me finish. You guys like to bring up high school level biology classes a lot. I get that a lot. But people who go on to more complicated biology classes will talk about sex as a spectrum. It's not. It's not. Well, biological researchers would disagree with you. Well, then they're full of shit, the ones that would say that. There's, look, there are... All right. There are male gametes and female gametes. Oh, I had one, I had one last question. Wait, Mr. Walsh, can I ask a question? I just have one, I have one quick... Can, we, can, we, can you come back for one second? Because this is an important question. You said you're an EMT. Yes. Okay, if you're responding... You're responding to a health emergency. Biological male, somebody with a penis, is, uh, is having a medical emergency. And they say to you, um, I think I'm having a miscarriage. Would you, would you check them to see if they're having a miscarriage? Would you consider that a possibility for them? Look. <laughs> no, but... That's because some people don't have body parts. Doesn't mean they're not a woman. Okay. Sounds like we've established there are some people who, in principle, can get pregnant, and there are some people who can't. So there's two categories, otherwise known as binary. Lots of women can't get pregnant either. Yeah, but they're still of the nature to get pregnant. The only but reason- But they can't get pregnant. Yes, but Truth they... matters, right? It, it does. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Truth matters, and they can't okay. get pregnant. I, That's the truth. So how are they still women? Because they are... For, for, the, for the same reason, for the, for the same reason that, I, that I can rightly say that human beings have two legs. And if a person is born with only one leg, that doesn't call into question the statement that human beings have two legs, okay? A person being born with one leg doesn't mean that now legs are on a spectrum and we can't say, we can't say anything at all about how many legs a person has. Who knows? They could, have, they could be a centipede. You know, they could, have a, they could have a hundred legs. No, we know human beings have two legs. If a human is born without two legs, something went wrong. They were supposed to have that second leg. Something went wrong. If you, if you, if you meet a person on the street who only has one leg, Maybe, maybe they had an accident. Maybe they were in war. Maybe, maybe, some, you know, maybe they were in a car accident. Maybe they had cancer. A leg was cut off. But you know that something went wrong because of the, by their nature, they're supposed to have two legs. 
Same thing for a woman. A woman by her nature can get pregnant. A man by his nature never can. So if you meet a woman of childbearing age, say she's 28 years old, and she can't get pregnant, you know automatically that something has gone wrong. And she can go to the doctor and find out what that thing is, even if they can't fix it. So that proves that women by their nature can get pregnant because the simple fact that she can't shows you that there is something wrong. This is what is known as the exception that proves the rule. Whereas if a male with a penis can't get pregnant, no doctor on earth is going to run tests to see what's wrong with him. <laughs> because they already know it's that he's a male and there's only male and female, those who can get pregnant and those who can't. So, right, that's it. That's